Hey guys, we are doing some absolute value stuff today and it's very exciting. Okay. All right. Quickest absolute value review of your life. Don't switch videos. It'll be fast. Okay. So absolute value is asking for a distance. Okay. It's asking how far is this number inside here from zero? Okay. So if I have the absolute value of six is equal to six, right? The distance from zero is the distance six is from zero is six, right? Now, if I had the absolute value of negative six, you can't have a negative distance, right? You can't travel negative two miles. <laughs> so the distance of negative six from zero is also six, okay? So basically, we want this to be equal to either six or negative six. Okay. Does that make sense? We're going to actually have two answers when we do absolute value, because if this is equal to six, the absolute value of six is six. If it's equal to negative six, the absolute value of negative six is six. Okay. So there's going to be two possible answers for X. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to draw my cute little arrows here. All right. Okay, inside of here, 2x minus 4 could be equal to 6, right? Because absolute value of 6 is 6. It could also, 2x minus 4, could be equal to negative 6. Because the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. I feel like I said that 12 times. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's sinking. Okay, so now I'm just going to solve both of these and see what we get for x, okay? Okay. So to get X alone here, I'm going to add four to both sides. Okay. So I end up with two X equals 10. Then to get rid of that two, they're being multiplied. So I'm going to divide on both sides. Those go away. So I'm left with X equals five. Okay. So one possible answer is five. Okay. But there's another possible answer. So Again, I'm going to add four to both sides. Okay. Those go away. I'm left with 2x equals negative 6 plus 4. This is like I owe you $6. And I'm like, I don't have it all, but I can pay you 4. And you're like, thank you, but you still owe me $2, right? Negative 2. Now, 2 is being multiplied by x, so I'm going to divide. If I do it on one side, I need to do it on the other side to keep it balanced. So I've got X equals negative two divided by two gives me negative one. Okay. So there are two possible answers here. Let's just kind of try and quickly plug it in here. Two times five would give me 10. 10 minus four gives me six. The absolute value of six is six. Okay. Now, if I plug in negative one, two times negative one gives me negative two. Negative two minus four gives me negative six. And the absolute value of negative six is six. Okay. So whenever we do absolute value, you're going to get two answers. Okay. Because there's two possible things X could be. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Um, I will link some other videos if you need them. Sometimes we might have a number out here, which you need to get rid of first. Anyway, check those out if you need to, but hopefully that made sense. Bye.